Hello, welcome to another video from the, the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. My name is Tara. I'm Dave. And we're sellers, resellers on Poshmark and sometimes eBay. And my closet name is Tara Stutes. I don't even know if you can do that name thing on this thing. Yeah, I'll put it down there. We're trying something new with our What Sold video finally. And we're going to try to screen share uh, with... Like we're on the laptop and we're going to screen share in the browser so you can see the pictures better. Basically, it's the non ghetto version. Right. But it's some ghetto it's folks. It's still doing ghetto. It. <laughs> it's still ghetto because of who's doing it. We're also having some ghetto wine. Oh, yeah. Hey, check this out. How do you know you're ghetto when you have wine in a box? Check that out. We bought that for a Halloween party and we had a lot left. So that's what we're going to have. Night. That was a big pour. I do so really big. this is what sold from October 16th through October 31st. There are 70 items to go through. And this is new to us, so bear with us. because. And we'll tell you yeah. what we paid for it, how long it was listed approximately, we'll be able what it to sold see it for. Now. Yeah. Please. Yeah. You can see who bought it. but And we're going to be um, down here in the corner. We think. Maybe. Are you ready to switch over? Sure. Okay. There oh, there's infinite loop. Here we okay. go. Okay. So we have pants. Those are pants. <laughs> we got those at the outlet, I remember. Uh, so probably, and they were heavy. So they were probably a couple dollars. And they sold for 22 And look, I can already see the, the month I listed. I listed it at the beginning of September. Good job. So it took about a month to sell. So we're gonna, you gotta exit that tab or you're gonna have a gazillion tabs. Don't tell me what to do. You didn't make a new tab. It's my computer. You didn't make a new tab. I don't care. I'm gonna have to take over the scrolling. No, you're not. Lucky Brand Emmy Ballet Flats Gold Crinkle. I uh, had seen these at my local Goodwill and my mom was there on a senior discount day. So I said buy them because she could get them for $3. And they sold, I can't, I can't see the date anymore. Oh, my bad. They s oh my <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. They uh, were listed in August. They sold in October. So that's two months. Hold on. Back. You need to go back. <laughs> okay. So on the next one, you I need know, to right I know, click. I know how to do this, Tara. You don't seem to know how to do this. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. These... True Religion Ricky Super T Men's Straight Jeans. We got those at the Mega Rummage sale we went to. We paid $3. <laughs> the Mega Rummage. I, don't, I mean, what else are we going to call it? Um, no, we're not starting. Oh, we have a critic right here with us. So. She just told us to start over. Off to a stellar start here. We're not starting over. <clears throat> we always stutter and stammer our way through. Awesome. Okay, scroll down. What month did I list them? Uh, October. So they they sold pretty fast for thirty two dollars. Yes, I'd buy those again for three bucks. You can uh, go to the next one. That's oh what I'm gosh, doing. you clicked it instead of right clicking. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Columbia Kids Reversible Fleece. <laughs> oh, Laid coat. What in the world? This is supposed to be plaid. It's a plaid coat. It was reversible. It was pink and purple. It was really cute. And it was size 2T. And it sold for, I think that's full price of $25. So that was a good sale. I'd buy that again. That was from the outlet. So it didn't cost much. Right click. Oh, my gosh. Matilda Jane, girls, blue and Just don't scroll for a minute. Okay. <laughs> blue and gray, ruffle tiered skirt. I got that at the outlet for, not the outlet, I, our local Goodwill for $2, and it took a long time to sell. Now can you scroll a smidge? There, I listed it in July. So it took over three months to sell. I'm probably not buying those again. We have another critic coming out Great. into the world. Okay, Columbia Boys Black and Red Fleece Jacket Coat. I think we got that at the outlet, so it cost about a dollar. And it sold for 20 That was a good sale, I thought. Um, sold pretty fast. Scroll down a smidge. In October, yes. Smidge. You need a hush. So it's <laughs> less than a month. 
Uh, yeah, I'd buy that again at the outlet. Yep. This back spacing is frustrating. Just right click. There you go. You have to go to the new town. <laughs> <laughs> Red plaid print rubber rain snow boots. Where did we get these? I remember getting them. Was it the outlet? I think so. I think so. They were pretty heavy, probably three pounds, so they probably cost about $4. I couldn't figure out the brand on them. It was all weird cursive, and Googling didn't help. Probably staring at, at like stars. Like ADI right there is my best guess. Um, they sold for $15, but they did sell really fast, so I might buy those oh, again. Oh, I clicked Gala. on it again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ann Taylor, black, zip front, ribbed cardigan sweater this was the pile of extra large sweaters we got at the outlet one day and it took a few months to Oof, sell i think ten scroll bucks. down yeah i listed it in july so it took three and a half months to sell but i think i've sold all the ann taylor shirts at this point or maybe there's one left so we made our money back because it was just at the outlet i wouldn't buy that stuff at a regular goodwill margins aren't good enough Athleta navy blue wide leg retro corduroy pants. I think we got those at the outlet. Um, and <laughs> everything at the outlet. It's the best deal, huh? You might be wearing something from the outlet. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. scroll down a little. Listed it in. This is what I'm looking for. For okay, I'm like I don't see any dates, but whatever. Okay, so that. 08 means it was listed in August. Okay. So it took two months to sell, but I love Athleta, especially pants. Um, and this was a four petite and still sold for $18. So I would buy that again, yeah. Next we have something very similar to what you're wearing. Different brand, but similar style. Columbia Navy Blue Soft Shell Interchange Jacket. Really good condition jacket. Uh, I think that was a full price sale or close to it. $25. Scroll down a little. Let me see the... Bought that, or listed it in August, end of August. So, two months to sell, $25. Yeah, that was at the outlet, too. So, yeah. I like that. It looks a lot like what I'm wearing, for real. I know. Everything at the outlet. Athleta Durango Black Half Zip Sweater Dress. And that was a full price sale. This was from the uh, Mega... Garage sale. Is that what I said last time? The mega garage. The garage Sunday, sale of Sunday, garage Sunday, sales. Sunday. <laughs> it sold really fast, I think. Scroll down a little bit. Yeah, I listed it in October, and it sold in October. It sold really fast. Um, $30 full price. Yes, I'd buy that again. It was only 2 bucks when we bought it. Uh, next, we have Vionic Prim Ava, and I think that's a typo, but I could be wrong. You do that I know a lot. it's Ava style. For somebody that edits court documents. It's the autocorrect, I promise. Mm -hmm. Black quilted ballet flats shoes. Uh, where did I get those? those I think that ballet was... Ballet flat. Ballet flat is the style. Um, that was at our local Goodwill, actually, and they were in really good condition. Um, so I paid $5 for them, I believe, and the, they sold... Scroll down. The ballerina says those they are sold ballet flats. Under a week. Under a week. Yes, I buy Bionic again. Yes. Yes. Cabby 528 red. I'm just concentrating really hard on <laughs> right clicking. Red Valentina seamed jacket wool. That was from the Mega Garage sale. It sold in under a week, I think, for $25. Um, it was an older tag cabby too, but it still sold for 25 bucks. Nice. Whoa. I would buy that again. J. Crew Silk Boy. Blouse and owl print rear <clears throat> top. This was from the Mega Rummage sale, also. So we paid two dollars for that. It was pure silk, really soft. I wish it were my size. Mega garage sale. Sold for twenty-two dollars. Oh. Yep, really fast, like under a week. So yeah, I'd buy that again. And we're going on. American Living faux wrap green dress. This was a mom. Purchase to resell, as in my mom. Your mom. <laughs> uh, it was just like American Living. I think they sell it at like JCPenney, something like that. 
Um, it was listed for several months, and I sent out my low final offer of $13, and somebody accepted it. 13 bucks. Yep. So I would not personally buy that, but my mom buys whatever she wants. And Caution to the wind. <laughs> Next, we have a fossil black leather handbag, you purse, crossbody bag. Fossil leather bags. Where did we find this one? I don't remember. I don't either. I think this was at the outlet, actually. And it's... Oh, she's gasping at her painting, not at arts, what we're saying. Um, it was really soft black leather. Um, I mean, it wasn't in excellent shape. It had some strings on the handles and stuff, but I mentioned that. Um, and it sold for $27 in under a month. So, yes, I'd buy that again at the outlet. Uh, this is a lot of clicking. <laughs> We're in the middle of a video, Annie. <laughs> She's going to ask me something about paintbrushes. No, I wasn't. What? You should come. There's my wife if they want to see my painting. Oh, gosh. You'll, you can show your painting in a minute. Cartonnier Anthro Knit Tweed Look Gray Blazer. I got that at a church rummage sale for $1. Praise the Lord. They had, it was the, it was at St. Anne's Church. Uh, they had random things marked for like $3, but this was one. They didn't know what it was, obviously. <clears throat> um, it took a couple months to sell, let's see, a month and a half probably, and it sold for $18. That was a good deal for me. I'd buy that again for a dollar, yep. Athleta, Black Revelation Yoga Pant Boot Cut. Now, Here's, I'm just clicking my life away. Here's going to be my problem. I do not remember where I've bought all my Athleta Black pants recently because we've got I've gotten like ten, some from the outlet, some from local Goodwill, some from the Mega Rummage Sale. I don't remember where I got this, but it sold for thirty dollars. That may have been full price. Scroll down, Dave. I can't tell what day I listed Before it. we started, she said, just pretend like I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay, so I did list it in the middle of October, so it sold really fast, like under a week. Good job, Tara. As I said before, I will buy Athleta again. This was something my mom purchased. I had never heard of this brand. Uh, Alex Evenings Animal Print Wrap Jacket. It was new with tags. What in the world? It was an... An 80-year-old lady's What animal is dream. that? Is I, that a Sasquatch? It's many. I've never seen that animal. It's like many animals put together. It's an abstract animal print. I didn't name an animal because I didn't know either. I just said animal. Um, but it was like a full-price sale of, or maybe close to it of $25. Sometimes I just wonder, like, what is going on with this thing? With what thing? With clothing? That jacket. Yeah. Who Who's wearing that thing? I don't know. My uh, mom had found a lot of new with tags things in that batch, which is fine. That's a good, it makes you, uh, makes the sale price higher, even if it's a weird item. That okay. Was weird. This is another one of my mom's passion concept off white sheer lace tunic top. She loves sheer. Never heard of this, but when I looked it up, That's it sheer. seemed people liked it. Um, it sold for $18. Scroll down. Pretty fast. No, wait. I this is sign language scroll for scroll down. I listed it in July? I don't remember listing it that long ago. So I guess it took three months to sell. So I don't recommend that brand, but okay. Uh, this was purchased from the outlet for myself to wear. Cut loose, gray draped front, long <clears throat> open cardigan, and it was just a little too... Fiddly for me in the front. Fiddly? Too long. and I'm very particular about how things fit. If and, something how, annoys, and, and how people click on things. And if and something, an something annoys me about it, I will get rid of it. So it, it weighed like half a pound. I, I wasn't done talking yet. It sold very fast for $14. And since you, I bought it at the outlet, it cost about 70 cents. You around and I had to move on. Cents. I'm sorry. This is going to take some time for us to get used to this new system. Us? <laughs> Me. Dave. <laughs> okay, Anthro, Angel of the North matinee cardigan sweater. That was from the Mega Yard Sale. Mega Yard that's Sale. That's like my least favorite color. Mustard. Oh, gosh, that's hideous. Like, 
Mustard yellow. <laughs> waffle knit. I can't believe it sold for 30 But bucks. it seemed to be a popular brand. That's brand. The popular uh, sweater. They, like, they all have names. That one's a matinee. I call that color baby poop. Okay. Good for you. So that was a full price <laughs> sale, I think. And scroll down. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that sold so fast I didn't even get an inventory number on it. So that's. Gotta have that couple baby days, poop. maybe. Super. Gotta have that baby poop. Yep. Another t-shirt idea. <laughs> Hugo Buscati tan cream leather mini skirt. My mom bought this. Now, that brand is actually <laughs> like a designer brand. I thought it was a purse from the thumbnail. <laughs> it's very small. It's a designer brand, kind <clears throat> of, but this one was pretty old, and um, the girl wanted it for a Halloween costume. I got it shipped out pretty fast, so she bought it like the 26th or something. I, I don't remember. I got it shipped to her in time. Uh, so maybe that's a brand to watch out for. I don't know. Let me know if you know. I don't know. Let me know if you know. This sweater. If you don't know. Patagonia Green Cinchilla Half Zip Sweatshirt. Now, I had purchased this in the middle of, like, summer. So I that's held nice. on to it until the fall. This had... Over 50 likes on it, and that's a lot because I don't even keep my items listed for more than a couple months before I relist them. But nobody would accept an offer. Finally, I got a $30 offer, and I took it. I mean, that seems really low for these Patagonia. Yeah. And I see people say they list Patagonia, and they sell in an hour. And that's I'm a nice. That's sitting a nice here. Day. That's the only Patagonia fleece I've ever found. Um, but, yeah, that's a good brand to watch out for. Columbia men's Omni Shade convertible hiking pants. I think we got those at that sale. Those are cool. Did we get those at the sale? Everything should be convertible. Either the sale or the outlet. They had the zip off legs. They. I should have zip off arms on everything. <laughs> okay. I think they do make those some. Somewhere. Zip off arms. Yeah. Um. So scroll ah. down. <laughs> scroll down. <laughs> I don't even, yeah, those sold so fast I didn't even get an inventory number on it's them. It's because it's convertible. So, like, one day, $25 sale. You yeah. know my dad had a 70 Barracuda oh my gosh. convertible? I love that car. I don't want to talk about your dad's convertible. <clears throat> Soft Surroundings Aberdeen Plaid Full Maxi Skirt. This. I always forget to go up here. and. Yeah, I know. Like, that's, that's what's throwing me off the most. I got this at our local Goodwill for... Four fifty, and when I say full maxi skirt, like click on the next picture, it had like a crinoline underneath, like it was bulky. What's a crinoline? Just Google it later. It's no, tell me. It's like, it's like tulle. Like <laughs> oh, it, it makes, makes your it, it makes it poof Poofy. out. Yeah, a crinoline. you can see the picture wondered. right there. Click on that one. When I went to plays and musicals. Not working. Your clicking's not working. My clicking. There you go. You see? I'm a horrible clicker. Okay, so it was. I found out it was a pretty rare style, so I listed it for fifty. I like immediately got crindling. What? <laughs> and a really low offer, and that lady every week would offer me like a dollar more. <laughs> <laughs> finally, I got a forty-five dollar offer, or some, or she may have accepted an offer to likers, probably. So. I was very happy about that because I thought I was going to have to sell to that lady that w wanted to offer me like 15 every time, every week. I finally figured out what makes dresses all poofy. Crindling. <laughs> Crindling. Crindling. There's no D in it. Crindling. No. <laughs> Crindling. <laughs> all right. Another purchase of my mother's. Is Mirror it? image geometric printed jacket, red and black. I don't know what this is. It's, oh. It was like a... <laughs> it felt like wool. It had every shape imaginable on it and like 12 prints. It looks like knives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scroll down a little. Cause, Crinoline. Okay, but it took it took like a month, maybe less than a month to sell, so that's not bad. $20. I'm yeah. sure she paid less than that for it. All the um, stuff that she gets that sells is funky. It's yes, I know. funky. But then she has like... 50% of the funky things don't sell, so... and Or some of them sell for $3. Yeah. 
All right, next we have Calia Inner Power Cross Front Sports Bra Workout. I bought this for full price at a Goodwill because I had sold this exact bra before and I knew it would probably do well. So I paid $4 for it and it sold so fast I didn't get it in inventory, which is less than one day. 20 bucks. For 20 bucks. So made my money back in less than a day. I know it wasn't a pound. Calia Sports Bras might be something to watch out for. I'm two for two. Well, watch out. She's two for two. And we have Lucy Charcoal Gray Full Length Workout Leggings. Lucy's one of my favorite brands. It doesn't resell real high or fast, but it's pretty consistent. Lucy's one of my favorite brands, too, because I have a niece named Lucy, and she's adorable. And scroll down. (laughs) Uh, Listed it in September. End of September, and they sold in October, so that was pretty fast. $17. Yeah, I'd buy those again. I, I don't remember where I got them. I think it may have been the yard sale to end all yard sales. Something besides a mega yard sale for once. I, we need a phrase to land on because we have already made our money back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we have already made our money back from that sale. I did calculate our profit, and... You calculate everything. Just for the video. What's it's going like, on here? Uh, did you ruin the internet? S- the boys are... Try is again. this it? Nope. It's this. the White House flag market top. If I just hit the... There you go. Uh, it's something like we've already profited like 300... Not profit after... Okay. I'm confused already. We've You've already, confused everyone. Poshmark has already given us 300 and. $80 or something from our sales. Now we spent 279 at the sale. All right, so we're in the We're black. in we're yes. And And then we still we have, have like 80 items or 100 items. There's a sell. ton listed already and there's a ton I haven't listed yet. I mean, but we've already profited. All right, on to this sweater. I got this at our local Goodwill for half off, so $2. Uh it was the newer tag White House Black Market and it was a dolman sleeve sweater and yeah, I buy pretty much all White House Black Market. That's the newer tag that's like 2 or $3. What's going on? Was, did you just rip a fart? We have... No, I was putting it in. Oh, okay. Oh I'm like, holy cow. She likes to fart a lot. Scroll, so scroll down. Scroll, scroll down. It took a month to sell. There Aunt, you go. Annie's a big farter. Can we not talk about that? Okay. Lane Bryant Packable Down Puffer Coat Jacket. I bought that at the local <laughs> Goodwill. Puffer Coat. I paid full price, which was $6, uh, but it was in really nice shape, and it was downfilled, and I thought for sure it would be a good sell, sale, sale. And <laughs> scroll down. She's got your phone. She's doing something with my phone. <laughs> Just pretend like I'm not here. Just ignore the children in the background. Just um, pretend like I'm not here. I said scroll down. It's very distracting. We'll we'll insert that picture in later. Um, okay, so I listed I it. I scrolled. I know. I listed it in mid October, and it sold at the end of October. So that was that October. was pretty good. That Four. was October. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. And now we're starting the bundle sales. So that may be our next video. Is my secret bundle sale. It didn't do nearly as well this time as last time, but it's we still sold several bundles. Okay, so this person bought four items. This first is my mom's purchase. Faith by Celia Forrester Nature Print Maxi Skirt. Don't know what this is. It was like real thin, cheap polyester, almost like mesh feeling. Go back. It's gorgeous. That had been listed a couple months, I think. I'm just ben trying to figure out what the picture of, uh, on the dress was. I don't know. Vintage green and yellow plaid shift dress. That's kind of cool. We got that at the outlet. It had a lot of people liking it, um, but I ended up putting it, selling it in that bundle, which meant I only got like half the yeah. listing price. Madewell cream and black lightweight turtleneck. I'm pretty sure I got that at the outlet, and it had been listed for several months. And the last thing was this cabbie coat. I know we got at the outlet um, months ago and stowed it away for coat season. And then I found it had a big rip on the inside. But it was a rip on a seam, so easy to fix. 
So those four items, she you got to go back now. What? Or yeah, there you go. So those four items she paid fifty dollars for. Um, considering what we paid for them, I'd buy all of those again. Yeah. It, well, not that darn skirt. I don't know what that is. <laughs> not that darn skirt. I think that was the one where she. Maybe not. There was one bundle I sold that the lady lives literally 25 minutes from our house. Muncie. Yeah. You, you didn't need to say that, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, there's Anzi, time shares there. Anzi Unique Printed Floral Workout Capri Leggings. We got those at the Terry, yard sale. How have you drank anything? You've just been talking. I'm Constant talking. Anyway. Anyway. We didn't even talk about what this wine tastes like. It's uh, not so good. Medium. <laughs> it's you not know the best. It, you know what it tastes like to me? It tastes like I'm going to have a headache tomorrow. But there's a bunch. <laughs> we got a bunch. Okay. We got those at the yard sale. And I had heard of this brand, but it felt really cheap. I didn't know why this was a popular brand. But lo and behold, they sold for $18 pretty quick after I listed them. So, sure, if you get those cheap enough, try them. Sure. Okay, maybe this is the lady that lives near us. This was another bundle sale. Yeah, these are both new with tags items. This was my mom purchased this one. J. Jill Chunky Knit Striped Sweater. I remember sweater. that. It looks... You need it, to, like, close up... Yeah, it looks like one of those the kitchen, yarn, kitchen it's, rug. It's like flat yarn. If you ever knit anything, it's flat yarn. It's a kitchen rug so with sleeves cool. built in, basically. So she got that, and... These two pairs of Mossimo pants. We got those at the out. No, I got them at 99 cent day at our Goodwill. I f and they were the same style, same size. I figured somebody would want them. Well, they'd been listed for almost six months, so I was thinking I was wrong. But we, w we made our money back from them mm -hmm. and a little profit. All right. And we have another full price sale. This was from our coat. Um, stash. Stash. That's it. Which... I thought I had was going to have like 100 coats, and I don't even think I had 25. But still, I think I was coated out. When I was listing them, I was like, I'm so oh. tired of coats. Coated out. Okay, this is a vintage uh, wool blend coat, uh, like trench length coat, and surprisingly had a lot of people liking it. I had never heard of this brand, but maybe trench it was coat. something. But it sold for a full price of $40 in under a month. So, hmm. yeah, I'd probably buy that again. We, I'm sure I got it for a dollar or something. Another bundle. And what is this? Oh, G-I-L-I. -I. Oh, you went to the moth first. My mom actually bought both of these, surprisingly. My mom bought a moth sweater. I don't think she knew what it was. Moth is an anthropology brand, as you can see. And it was a real uh, popular item. It had a lot of likes. So she bought that. And you got to hit the back button and see the skirt. Yeah, I, I'm getting there, Tara. G-I-L-I -I stands for something. My mom, like I've mentioned before, has been buying all the pleated skirts because she thinks they're real popular. <laughs> Even if they're, like, yeah, all of them. Scroll down to the tag. You got to hit that big arrow down at the bottom. What? You see that big arrow? Yeah. There. It stands for got it, love it. That's right. Okay. And and she always, every skirt is petite. I don't know why. Okay. So she bought those two items for $40, I believe. You hit back, it'll tell me. Yep, $40. So I know I'd buy the moth again. I don't know about that skirt. I don't. I try not to buy petite stuff. Another bundle. 41 Hawthorne. 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 <laughs> Hawthorne. <laughs> Animal print, knit dress, green and black. Bought that at a local thrift store for $5. What do you think this animal is? The, the Hawthorne. Yeah. What is it? Um. Yeah. No clue. That wasn't listed for very long, but we can hit back and look at the other leopard. item. Leopard. Clouded leopard. What? Go back. Oh, yeah, there's another item. Eileen Fisher. Oh, this was one of our viewers. That's right. Because I saw her name. When I send uh, 
do my bundles, I can see everyone's name. And I was sending her this message about my sale. And I'm like, I know this username. And it's one of our viewers. And she wrote, love your videos. And so thanks for buying. This was her other item, Eileen Fisher sweater. That's cool. Eileen Fisher is one of the brands that sometimes works for me and sometimes doesn't. It did have that one tiny stain. It's oh, disclosed. But really high quality uh, stuff. But it's more of an eBay item, and I am not more of an eBay person. But $30 for that bundle. Uh, yeah, I'd buy both those again. L.L. Bean. I really like this sweater. This is from the humongous yard sale that Eileen Fisher was, too. So paid $2 for this. Uh, this was a lamb's wool cardigan. I love chunky cardigans to sell. I can't wear lamb's wool. Okay, we need to tell whoever's yeah, making tell. this noise to stop. Hey, guys. <laughs> we're doing a video. You can, like, stop with the baker. Yeah, thanks. This was listed for, like, a week, maybe? There's and I took a $20 offer. Yes, I'd buy that again. They're in there playing with maracas as <laughs> we're doing a video. It's a kid weekend. Kid weekend. Yay. This was... Oh, you got the clicker? You can do the clicker. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Talbot's blue pure cashmere three-quarter sleeve sweater. We got that We're going to go the, back to the getaway. This is too much clicking. You can do it. I don't like all the clicking. Uh, this was purchased when we went to the outlet with the on the meetup day. Oh, that's cool. Do you cool. remember? Yeah, so, yeah. I, I do remember that day. Good. Thanks. This was a cashmere sweater. From Talbot's, uh, I don't buy most Talbot's, but uh, cashmere sweaters, yes, I'll buy. Oh, it was just a one time. Sold for $20, like within a day, maybe? Oh, look. Okay. Oh! The skew. This is what I was wondering. This is going to divulge from our video for just a second. So they just came out with secret info on your listings. So they you can put in your purchase price of your item, a skew, which would be like an inventory number. And there's something else, I don't remember. And it can only be seen by you when you're editing. Well, I always said, if I put my item number, which is the box it's in, so if it says B something, that means it's in the box labeled B. I have to be able to see my item number to know where to go get it. And if I can't see the SKU unless I'm in edit mode, that's no good because you can't edit a sold item. So in other words, if you sell an item and then you want to figure out which box it's in, I thought maybe the only way to do it would be to hit edit, which you cannot do. But I see now that it's going to show the skew right there. All right. Right there. Do you see that? Excellent. So they fixed it. They figured out a way to fix it. That's good news. Super. Okay. We can go on. All right. Moving on. So I thought we should just ask everybody that's watching, like, should we go back to the ghetto way or keep doing it non-ghetto? We'll do whatever we want. Tara, okay. I want to ask opinions because this is a lot of clicking. I could make you put in pictures. Chaco Woodstock Vibram. You can make me do what? Put in pictures manually. Oh, no, I don't want to do that yeah, either. 70 pictures. Gunnison Mules Stone. Okay, you found those at the outlet. They were a weird style of Chacos, I'll admit. Now, the Chaco sand, strappy sandals sell for much more than this. These, I was so tired of sharing them, and I was afraid they weren't going to sell. I took a $17 offer. Mm -hmm. Now, me getting frustrated, that item was only listed a month and a half, but it just feels like too long for me. Okay, another bundle. Free people, Holly Go Lightly Tweed Skater Skirt. I got that at my Goodwill. And skater Skirt? I don't remember if I paid full price or half price. So it was either 2 or $4. You click on the next picture down to see it. What? That's her boob. Click on the picture. There you go. <laughs> her boob. You're hovering over her boob. <laughs> okay, my bad. Don't, don't exit. Hit back. It was subliminal. Subconscious. Okay, Anthropology Black... Cream print <clears throat> cardigan sweater. We got that at the rummage sale as well. I knew it was anthropology by the inside tag that had the, well, it was anthropology or free people or urban outfitters because it had the RN number. But, but it had no other tag. 
It looks like a field and flower sub brand, but it had no other tag, but I just listed it, you know, said it had no size tag. So that bundle was $25. I'd buy both of those again, I guess. Free people I'm starting to hate, but. Don't hate, Tara. Some of them do really well and some of them do not. This is a purchase by my mom. I think she bought it for me and I can't do jackets with only a collar. It has to have no collar or a hood. That's funny because I'm doing a jacket. You with can a do collar whatever you want. I'm saying what I can't do. And okay. everything is fine. I'm saying what I can't do. You see, I have a hood. It's either a hood or no hood. Or get out no of here. No collars. No no collars allowed. Head turquoise and gray zip up athletic jacket. Not a brand I really recommend, but my mom bought it and it actually sold for twelve dollars, which wasn't far off asking price. It's the collar. But it took scroll down. Took two and a half months, close to three months to sell. There we go. Are we almost done? Because this is taking forever. Lululemon. Oh, this is Anna's. Lululemon Extra Mile Crop uh -oh. Black Workout Capris. I sold this for Dave's niece. Anna got made some money. Yep. Um, Did she know are, that they sold? I gave her the money. You already gave her the money? Yes. I waited until the person accepted the item, so I, I had the funds, okay, okay. and then I sent her the funds. Well, that's cool. So she had the, these sold really fast too. And um, they were in very good shape. <coughs> oh, uh, more recent style, I think. I feel like my daughter's like motioning for us to pay attention to her, but really she's just dancing, doing cheerleading. I don't know. <laughs> Columbia Vintage 3-in-1 Zip Out Ski Coat Jacket. We got that at the outlet. It had the full fleece underneath. Oh, yeah. I if remember you click this. on some pictures, I took pictures of just the yeah. fleece. So you could wear just the fleece. You could wear just the outer jacket. You could put them together and be super warm. Um, mm. Sold for $30 and under a month. So, yeah, we buy those at the outlet. Oh, that's cool. I mean, imagine the person buying that. How great a deal is that? Yeah. Made in the USA, too. That's what I was amazed by. Bundle of Madewell ex boyfriend Emmett ex -boyfriend. plaid. It's the style of shirt. Plaid blue red. Like he kept his shirt. It just fits like a boyfriend shirt. I don't know. It's got a flip cuff. It's it was like double layered, and the under layer was um, tinier plaid, and the outer layer was more. I, I I'm not thinking of words, and you won't large. be able to think. <laughs> large. There's a better term for it. You have cat hair on your keyboard. I've probably got crumbs and stuff on my keyboard, too. Okay. So uh, we got that at that yard sale for $2. Nice. And go back. They bought one other thing. Oops. They also got, oh, that North Fla North Fleece. North Fleece. <laughs> North Face Red Wool Red oh, yeah, Crew Neck this. Sweater. That was at the same sale, $2. It had that patch on the, yeah. on the sleeve. Yeah. It wasn't actually... Like the comps on it were pretty low, like twenty dollars. So it wasn't too bad. I sold them both um, in like two weeks, twenty five dollars. That was part of the bundle sale. You have to Super. delete that tab and go on. How much more do we have? Probably a gazillion. <laughs> um, did I mention there are seventy? Yes. Okay, the North Face gray. Wide leg corduroy pants. I do not remember where we got those. Not a clue. No clue. Uh, they'd been listed for a little while because I think that's a low, like a half off offer of $15. But if you scroll down a little, yeah, I listed them at the beginning of September. So that's I was not getting that ready. Long ago. I was getting ready to relist them. So I send my final offer before I relist every time. Okay. And we have oh, a four, four bundle. Super. I don't think any of these things were things I'd buy again. You have to actually. I, I, okay. I know. That's why I like doing it oh, the other yeah, way. This is the way you like to do it, and I'm learning your new way. If we did it my way, we'd probably click less, but we'll do it your way. Okay. Where do you want to start at the top? Okay. Uh, this was something I wore myself for a season. <laughs> Free tech black lightweight hooded jacket. You notice how it had a hood? Um. 
It had a hood. So that's not like an expensive brand or anything. I just needed a jacket, and it was on sale at our Goodwill, and it was nice. So she got that, and Nine West Black Tall Calf Height Heeled Boots. We got those at the outlet, and they did have some, like the inside of them, I think, was kind of worn, like peeling. Mm. Got those, and Ann Taylor Beige Sleeveless Side Tie Sweater. This was kind of neat. Uh, that was at the yard sale. The mega yard the sale? The mega yard sale. We've only gotten things at like one yard sale all year. <laughs> Uh, and this was something my mom bought, and a uh, shawl cape kind of thing. The heck is that? It was kind of neat, but then I found a stain on it, <laughs> which is like half of my mom's things I find stains on later. Uh, I don't know that brand, black lipstick, never heard of it, but she got all four of those items for $50. It's not part right. of that bundle sale. It's a good deal. I'd buy all those except... Not that jacket, because that's that's no brand, but it was my own thing. Okay, another bundle. Perlina brown crossbody handbag purse. My mom bought this. I don't, I had, know, I don't know Perlina. I, just I, I don't either. Stuff I don't know either. I had no inner tag on it. I don't know what it was made of. It felt like fake leather, Pleather. pretty much. Nice. Um, so. Excellent. Here's that. And, oh, another thing of my mom's. New York, or NY collection, black sparkle open cardigan sweater. Can you, do you think they can hear our kids being loud? Uh, I hope not. They're not going to shut up. So, so. those are both my mom's. She uh, paid $20 for those. Not my mom. The buyer paid $20 for those. I would probably not buy either of those items. Blessed Mama, or blessed. <laughs> blessed Mama. Blessed is he who sneezes a lot. Blessed Mama, dark gray women's fit t-shirt. We got that at the outlet, I believe. It was like one of those Chinese or brands. You know, I see them all the time at the thrift store now. Like somebody ordered it from like Wink or one of those cheap websites. And then this athletic cream Huntley ribbed wool blend sweater. I got that at the local Goodwill. Like, I think it sold the day after I listed it. So that was $30 for that bundle. That was part of my bundle sale. Free people. We got this at the outlet, I remember. And I kind of wanted to keep it, but I didn't. Ooh, Swingy faux fur coat, midnight blue. Now it had. Oh, I remember this. The faux fur. Faux fur. The faux fur. It had an inside rip, I found out, and it was in a seam. But if it hadn't had that rip, like there's ones for sale on Poshmark right now for over a hundred dollars. Faux fur. But I mine had a rip and it had been listed for a couple months and yeah, we made our money back for sure on that. For sure. Tara's gonna take a breath and we're not like we still have like ten things, I think. Are you serious? We're getting there though. MC Leather Clover Embossed Brown and Black Bag. I can't remember where I got it. 7,000 clicks later. I think I got it at Ooh. my local Goodwill, and then it took forever to sell. Wow. Is it, like, real leather, though? It is. Yeah, you it can tell. It had tons of pockets in it. It was really nice. And it only sold for 13. It Weird. it was near being sent to the secret closet. So The secret closet? I'm glad I made that. It's not so secret anymore. But that's what we're going to call it for all eternity. <laughs> Vineyard Vines Pink Spell Out Whale T-Shirt T. Tea. We got that at the yeah, Giant right Yard Sale. And then I got it home and found a hole. Giant Mega. Sale to end off sales. <laughs> sale to end off sales. I, yeah, I found a hole in it when I got home, unfortunately. That sucks. Uh, but it still sold really fast for $13. If you, if you hit that arrow, you can see the picture with the hole. Well, I was, see, I point at it so you can see how big it is. It's not very big, but still. That's Everything I own has 10 <laughs> of those because I have cats. So, um, yeah, we made our money back, made a profit, um, but it would have been sold for much more if it had not had a hole. Now, see, these things are pending acceptance, so they're very recent. American Eagle... 
Artist Super Stretch Flare Jeans. Pretty sure I got those at the outlet. That's about the only place I buy American Eagle to sell. Um, and it took a little while. Scroll down. Almost a full month. Almost for a month. It took forever. I like fast things. Um, so, yeah, I, I buy those if they're cheap enough. They will sell. Morel Brown Leather Lux Mid Ankle Boots. My mom bought these, surprisingly. No, that's a good good buy. They good did job. have a little, a few scuffs on them, but uh, still sold for $22 really fast. That uh, brand is on the list. Yeah, we do like Merrill or Morel, and we don't know how to say it. And I'm wearing some right now. No, you're not. That's Mar Marmont. The shoes on my oh, feet. Oh, your shoes. Okay. Forgot about that. Believe it or not, I know what shoes I put on today. No. Yeah, I do. So, uh, yeah, I'd buy those again if you get them cheap enough. This one. Tara puts my shoes on for me every morning. Another uh, new White House black market, Step Hem Straight Jeans. Where did I get these? I do remember getting them. Probably the yard sale to end all yard sales. No, we got them at the outlet that day we met <clears throat> the resellers in Indy. I do remember that now. And they sold in like an hour for $27. Do you want me to scroll down so you can see the date? There's no date. I didn't even get them in inventory. Good job. They sold. We have two more items. Two more. J. Crew Marled Knit Cotton Sweater Black and Cream. I don't Clipped remember where I got out. this. I think we got it at the outlet, but I'm, I could be completely wrong. Too many clicks. And $27. That's a good looking one. Yeah, it was a very nice sweater. It was sweater. really soft and cozy and never would have fit you, so. Bummer. Bummer. And the last one of October. We've been sitting here a while. We have. My butt hurts. Metaphor Royal Blue Hooded Peacoat Winter Jacket. That was from our stash. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for that. And it sold for 27 Metaphor we is a pretty good, nice quality brand. People stash different things. We stash coats and jackets. Okay, so what are we going to do now to do the ending of the video? Do you know how to go um, back to us? Yeah, I do, actually. Thank you very much. I just, we hadn't talked about this. So. Oh, whoa. There we are. Uh -huh. I can see myself again. Oof. Okay, so um, I'll tell that you our intense. numbers. That was intense. That was, intense that was 70 items. So I'm going to tell you our numbers for September. So that's last month. Let's hurry it up. My butt hurts from sitting here for so long. So in September, we sold $2,575 worth of items. And after fees, it was twenty twenty three eighty five. dollars I'll take okay? it. Okay. Now, based on how many items we sold last month, give a just random guess for this month. Like the same numbers? Pick one. Like, but, do you think we did better? Do you think we did worse? Do you think, I think we, we did, did the same? same? Okay. We actually sold $2,944. What? I know. That's more. That's <laughs> <laughs> more. After fees, it was $2,257.40. That is a good month. That is. For us. A lot of stuff. I did That's list. a good month for us. Yes. Not for some people. It is. I mean, for part time people. Yeah, it's not bad for a part time. That is not bad for part time. Yeah. I listed nearly two hundred items, which is more than I usually do, and I'm off to like we haven't had any work for like four days or so. So I've listed more items than normal already in November. I try to do five a day, and we're at like forty, I think. Excellent. So that was a good month, I thought. What do you think? I think it was a fantastic month. Besides the fact that it got cold. Oh, yeah. I hate the cold. How was your Halloween? Our Halloween was snowy. Snow. Yeah. Snow. That was great. Yeah. That's all you have to say about that? I, yeah. Dave dressed up in his leprechaun costume. and I'm not a leprechaun. I was riding a He was a riding a leprechaun. Yeah. And we got it at the bins, right? Yeah. Yeah. His sister and I were the rainbow. Good times. That's why we got this. 
That was for Halloween. Box to share, of wine. and then nobody else drank it. They all had like apple pie wine that I was all tastes like it. candy. I, I drank it. Uh, do we have anything else to say, or would we like to finish? How's the weather in your neck of the woods? <laughs> you know, I'm always you curious about, about the weather. weather. I do. I love to talk to people about the weather. So our next video is going to have to be my bundling method. And then I have an idea for a series I want to do, but we'll talk about that. But It's a docu-series. I basically have enough things to sell that I don't need to buy anything for the entire month of November. I bet so you do. I'm I gonna, bet you I'm buy try, some stuff. Hey, today was Goodwill half-off day, and guess who hasn't been to Goodwill? Yeah, but you went somewhere yesterday, didn't you? Did I? Yeah. Where did I go? You took Annie. Oh, we bought clothes for ourselves. Oh. Um. To a consignment shop. I had to explain to her the difference between a thrift store, a consignment shop, and a flea market. And all she kept saying was, that's stupid. That's stupid. Because <laughs> she's 12. Everything's stupid Everything's when you're 12. Everything's stupid. Except okay. for your cell phone. That's not stupid. And I need it back right now. Okay, I have to go cook dinner for everybody. So What are we having? I think we're having chicken alfredo, maybe. What are you having for dinner? Wine. <laughs> chicken alfredo. All right. Well. Oh, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for our non-haul videos coming, because that's our plan. He's he's His finger's over the stop recording button. Do you want me to stop now? I feel like you're going to cut off my life supply. Do you want me to stop recording now? Okay, you can stop.